Hi guys, welcome. Well, I had to take up the sun because I cannot come and kill myself. I I didn't have breakfast before leaving for this market, so I was already hungry and I'm a breastfeeding mom. I'm still breastfeeding. Okay, girls, four. Then boys, eight. Boys, eight. Mama, chop up your son. So we had 36 um, kids in total, both um, toddlers and teens to pack their party pack. It was really a fun thing to do. I mean, this is my first time of, I mean, celebrating birthday for, I mean, that's my first child. So it's my first time. It was fun packing this party pack. It just... You know, he have just brought memories when we were kids. We go for birthdays, and we always, they always gift us these party packs. And now, I'm doing the same thing for <laughs> other kids. So we decided to pack the party packs in the market so that it's not going to stress me because I had more things to do before that event day so Chetty suggested that we pack all the party packs you know in the market so that I won't start going home to pack it so we bought a carton of um, lollipop a carton of biscuit and a carton of capri sun so we had to put them in to each of the party packs you know so that it's not just gifts children the kids can you know lick their lollipop at home and enjoy their capri sun you know you know those kind of stuff <laughs> it was really fun to be honest it was really fun and i felt like i should be doing more of this i mean i have a lot of day-to-day -day event things that happen in my life that i don't even post here but guys you know um, motherhood is not easy it really took a toll on me i'm still going to talk about what i experienced in this one year of raising my first time being a mom you know it and then mixing it with work it's not easy i mean that's the reason why i'm not consistent on youtube but then again i will make it more fun for you guys so i'm starting off with this because i wasn't sure i wanted to post this video but i <laughs> I felt like, I mean, you guys should see the other side of me, my life, not just makeup. I do things like this. It's my normal day-to-day -day activities. But this particular one is so special because it has to do with my baby's um, birthdays. We're done shopping the gift packs and we will be heading home. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> the bag is full to the brim. <laughs> Guys, thank God I wore this sandal, so hmm, it really saved me as if I knew it was going to rain because while we were in that shop, it really rained heavy, like the rain was really heavy and we were, I thank God that we were already in the shop before it started raining. So our bag was so heavy, we had to call a barrel guy to help us carry. Of course, we're going to pay him because that's what his services are for, to help people carry their um, luggages so I had to we had to follow him and we begged him not to run because nobody was ready ready to chase after him so I stopped by to buy some tomatoes that I will use to make Lexin's breakfast and then I also got this cassava and um, cola nuts I really love this and it's been years I had this that's why I actually bought it and <laughs> you can see the set the sandals serving its purpose like I didn't even feel like I was walking on um, dirty water because the, it was the market was really really messy okay so we were heading to where we can get the tricycle it's drizzling so 
Oma, that's where are you now? Okay. <laughs> so, I yeah? What do you want to buy? Okay, that's not how we It's all you got here. Let me buy. I got on it. Two hundred, two hundred. I got on it. One hundred. Two 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 hundred. Open each one, you go there. We can go down from back. Mm -hmm. Yes, go back. You can see me walking majestically <laughs> because this sandals was a lifesaver, like. I mean, obviously, I won't come to the market, whether it's uh, during the rainy season or not. I won't even come to the market wearing something flat because I really don't know how it's going to end up. So, and this dirty water, I was not ready for it to splash on my legs. So, we are heading to get Keke because I didn't drive to the market. None of us did. I had to go to Chetty's house and we now enter Keke to this place. Because I parked my car at Chetty's place, so I have to go back to Chetty's house to, you know, pick my car. So we already got into the tricycle, about to head home, and we're trying to negotiate price because the guy wanted to cheat us. <laughs> I mean, I've not entered Keke in like four years, guys, four years, and truly, I enjoyed the ride. The breeze, you know, and like, it was fun. It was really fun. I wish I can come to the market again. Of course, with a company, because hmm, I'm not coming here without any company. <laughs> it's really stressful when you come alone. Okay, it is actually. So we decided to stop by to get some potatoes. We got 300, of course, or 500. Nah, I supermarket. I'm not See a poor room, Afifa. Angara, eh? Three hundred. 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 Three Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. So heading out of Chetty's compound and heading home to go and meet my baby. I'm sure by the time she woke up this morning and she didn't see me, she would be wondering where I went to because I left pretty early. Okay.